Hello, welcome to the artclasses.com. This is a QA session, episode 14. Uh, what kind of warm up exercise do I do before I start painting? And um, the question about how to study anatomy or render. And the tablet giveaway is still going on for July 2016. It's a Tercom tablet, TS6580. Um, all you have to do is just become a subscriber and post your question and comment down below and then I'll just randomly pick the winner at the end of the month of July so the winner last time I already sent off the tablet so you should be looking forward to your tablet in the mail and uh, I'm also going to do a download a premium video download giveaway every week on Instagram so just follow me on Instagram. Um, I will have the link to my Instagram down below the video so you can just uh, follow me there and just go there and comment or something. Um, all right, uh, let's get started. Um, so first one is JV73.100. Um, what warm up exercise do you do before a piece? So um, there is not really a warm-up exercise I do it's more like a routine so usually I wake up in the morning uh, not early <laughs> like maybe 9 or 10 and then I'll go for um, probably 3 to 5 miles run and if I'm really hangover or <laughs> really tired then I'll just run 2 miles um, but that's not like every day maybe 5 days a week um, on Saturday and Sunday I don't do much um, I'll just go to the gym maybe do elliptical stuff but um, but that's not what I'm talking about. So usually in the morning after I do get the sweat out or something, clear my head. Because uh, usually when you get up and um, you can't just get up and, and draw, it's, it's feel a little, or get up and start working. You have to kind of get, um, kind of stretch or do something before that. And then usually the, the first thing I do is basically comps or thumbnails or something that uh, a little more loose. Uh, you can just sketch it out in your sketchbook but I do comps and thumbnail first thing in the morning because when your head is clear um, you might strike some goal or get lucky with uh, some cool design uh, or some cool composition or some good ideas basically um, and then after a few hours I, then I will bring some piece because usually I work on multiple pieces um, and then uh, after that I will do a little bit more into a, a detailing of the pieces or um, adding more detail onto the, some midway of some piece that I was working on. So I usually don't do it all the way through. Um, usually I'll like leave it for a day. Um, I work it maybe midway and then leave it for a day. If I spend like maybe two hours on it, then I might keep it there first and then I'll come back and take a look at it so I can see more clearly of what, what may be wrong with it. But if you're working with the studio or other, you might have to like work out with you. But then there'll be more fresh eye to look at your stuff or your artwork, so they can tell you which one to fix and which one's not. But if you're working um, for yourself pretty much or in your own studio, then you're gonna have to um, be able to detect all those flaws. So you let it rest for like maybe a day or two, and then you come back and you can see more of what you can do. But it's doing something loose, um, get exercise, and then. You know, later on in the day, you can do like the harder stuff. All right, question number two, Jonathan Lechar. Um, what would you say is the best way to start studying anatomy and value? Like, what is the very basic? Huh. The start and the anatomy, that's a two different things. You have to separate those. Um, so anatomy, I would just recommend going to light drawing and then uh, get the George Brickman anatomy book, um, and then go to light drawing, come back, try to figure out what, what's, what's missing, what you need to add on to your light drawing, and look at the line run of the anatomy book. Uh, George Brickman, uh, Human Machine, is probably my favorite. I don't understand why like some of his book doesn't have a good rating, or you can do Andrew Loomis, those are really good light drawing too, but George Brickman has more of an uh, anatomy uh, uh, detail. Uh, Loomis has a very good uh, mm lifelike drawings uh, pretty awesome and you can also get uh, Richard Schmidt uh, I'm not sure if he has like an anime he doesn't but he has like, a lot of painting uh, figure painting and stuff as your question so another one Gwen by 
bang toes. Thanks for this great video. Zia, do you think you should, could do a tutorial about understanding form and shapes and how to use it in your design? How to balance the shape in such thing like sci-fi armor, the 70-30 rules and all things we need to know to come up with a great design and fluid like cool shape and badass and all that. That would be awesome of you. All the best. So that is a lot of information. So basically you want the whole class. Um, that's going to be impossible to put in one video. But I do have the form and shape. If you never just click on the video then you look at form and shape. So basically if you uh, on that video it's explained to you on the portrait of what plane um, on your face at angle and how the light would hit it and each plane will have different value to go. So just basically uh, you can rationally apply that onto the body except you have to know um, a little bit more of what which plane is going where like here's the plane you can have a, a curved line or you can break it down to one two three four because it's angle up 45 coming to like about 90 and then going in about minus 45 or something and once you break it down to plane like, and then break it down to like from left to right you know which plane is going where um, so you have to if you don't want to take any classes from any of me you can take it from me also um, and you don't want to take any classes you're going to have to try and figure that out yourself and I'm pretty sure in those video I might put one more video up here of my have all these things that you um, ask for but you just don't really know how to put them together um, to the syllabus course so and the 70-30 rules it's applied everywhere not just the armor the 70-30 rule is basically dominant and then secondary so in in composition you always have 70-30 in um, the color theory you always have 70-30 so it's not like a, so a solid set in stone number but that number will get you the best result so you have to start doing it and have somebody uh, that know what they're doing uh, give you feedback on your work and that's probably gonna get you uh, better really fast so just you know take any classes that you think they are good teacher or something or you can come take my classes uh, it's probably gonna get you the best result you can ask any of my previous students that how how good it is um, usually they always come back so I guess my class are pretty good um, and also just you know look at those videos and try to you know um, look for more and stuff that are similar just go through all the playlists and watch all those playlists that I have I think you're gonna benefit a lot from it so um, anyways that's all it is for today so the tablet giveaway is still going on you can just become a subscriber and post on a comment below and then in the end of the month I will announce uh, the winning and also you can support me on Patreon if you want to know what I'm cooking up on my comics and the release a uh, really awesome good premium tutorial or exclusive whatever the hell the name is name doesn't matter but it's gonna be video good video tutorial long form content uh, explain a bunch of things and, and I will take requests from the patrons if you need so just you know go there and help me out buy me coffee you know I can get more coffee I get I can make more video tutorial and the class still going on also at my uh, website you, you can come and take a live class so, alright guys, I hope this Q&A question helped you understand painting and drawing a little bit more. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video and here are all my Patreon as uh, now it's increasing. So it's thank you very much you guys, this is uh, from level 4 and up. So thank you Cubinator, Sebastian, Rob Roberto Herb, Hanuman, um, John Holloway, Antonio Hernandez, John Saipos, Doug Taro, Steve Young, um, Hassan Ali, Paul Castle, Dominique, Samuel, Gary, Leon, Jeff, Savage, Vilas, Richard, Luna, Nera, Eric, Austin, Gui, Hammer, Tom, Angel, and Joris. So thank you very much. Uh, these are all my, these are the level up and Patreon supporter on July. And if you're interested, I release a pretty cool video on Patreon every month. And you can go just follow it on Patreon. You'll see me post an image every week. And again, uh, video tutorial downloadable giveaway on Instagram, Instagram.com slash ZTFTara. So if you want a tutorial, premium tutorial download of your choice, I'll give it away every week. 
and tablet giveaway is still going on so you just become a subscriber on YouTube and then um, I'm gonna just gonna randomly select you guys each month have a good day or night or whatever wherever you are okay bye bye